Oh damn it, it's raining, it's rain. It's raining, shut down. Oh hi, konnichiwa. I have to finish the recording before it starts drizzling. It's already is drizzling. Okay, before we start, I want to let you know that in my previous video, I left a hint as to where I am traveling next. If you can guess which place I'm going to, then I will bring a souvenir from that place as a gift for one lucky winner. So don't forget to watch that previous video and see the hint and let me know in comments. Okay, now about the helmets. Why should you carry your helmet? in a flight why why you see there are two types of international motorcycle travelers that you'll come across first one the first type are the ones that start in a country ride across couple of countries and come back in which case your helmet is on your head along with your luggage and other stuff and you enter country to country by road now the second type of motorcycle travelers are like me we fly to the country rent a motorcycle there then explore main roads big roads small roads trails waterfalls volcanoes and then fly back now you may ask the bike rental guys do provide helmets right so why do i need to carry my helmets let me ask you have you seen those helmets especially in asia they are the half face helmets sometimes they are not in a good condition they have a strap that doesn't fit properly and sometimes there is sweat residue from some tourist who has used that helmet from that rental company and for someone who vlogs i'll have to do this attach mounts to somebody's helmet that i'll have to give away so that's why you carry your own helmet with you but there is a small problem though actually it's a big problem you see i'm not just a motorcycle traveler i'm also a backpacker which means i like my traveling luggage to be minimum and fit in a backpack travel light lighter so i cannot or don't like suitcases or trolleys i think i'll leave that to the tourists Besides there is a big chance that the airlines will damage your helmets in the check-in luggage. Okay, so here's my backpack. It's a 70 liter backpack. It's gone a couple of countries, uh, seen major parts of India. Hey guys, I'm moving towards the next leg of my journey to Singapore right now, and you can see my backpack is lying right here at the bus stop. I'll be heading off to Singapore, uh, and I'll. post more vlogs from there and it's it's actually torn it's actually torn maybe it lasts me one more trip so here are two helmets this one and that one and we're going to pack them in my bag why two helmets I usually carry one helmet. Why two helmets? You're gonna know soon in the upcoming videos. For a helmet like this, aerodynamic in shape, completely, completely oval or round, you do not have to worry much. But but for a helmet like this, you should disassemble your helmet first because this is gonna break. All this is probably gonna break. So easy, you just disassemble it. Take off your visor. Bring it pretty much down to this shape. See this? Kind of the shape of that. This pointy edge obviously you cannot do anything but this shape. Now we're going to pack. Okay, so here's your backpack. Generally they have 
two openings right from the top here or bottom here if you have a backpack which has an opening through the vertical then you are in luck it is much more easier to pack before we put the helmets inside the backpack what we need to do is have something like this if you have this this is good this is your helmet carry bag this is something your helmet manufacturer would have given you when you purchase the helmet and I have this for this one but I lost this for this helmet so we're gonna see how to put them together first thing is to put your helmets in your helmet bag so that you avoid a lot of minor scratches you see this the helmet opening through which your head goes in should be here at the bottom now you might have a question if you could actually have this bag why couldn't you just carry it like this in the airlines as a hand carry package technically you should be able to but I've heard of a couple of airlines giving you problems if you carry it like this as a hand baggage even though you agree to put it in the luggage compartment they will say it is their airline rules and they might stop you so this way of carrying may or may not work for you and that's why we're gonna put this inside the backpack hey before that if you're wondering where your clothes will go with all these helmets inside and taking so much space this is a lot of space for your clothes this you can fold your clothes roll it and put it you gotta just learn how to pack like a backpacker you can put a lot of clothes in here just don't put your electronics and everything in here no sharp objects in here because they are gonna scratch and tear the internal of your helmet now let's go and pack this now watch this is the structure in which I'm gonna have the helmets inside this helmet's gonna be like this and this one's gonna be like this inside the bag in that way you have two smooth edges against each other a 70 liter backpack should be able to easily slide your helmet inside like this now the second one goes in like this from your behind not from your behind like from behind of your backpack as I said again if you have a vertical zip very easy this one goes like this now watch this you have your backpacks tube that can actually squeeze in and hold this helmet this way there's still enough space now for your socks and shoes and slippers uh, but you can also put this part inside like this and now zip it up okay but with this setup you gotta remember one thing the helmet is here so don't drop your backpacks wherever you sit like I also have this habit a lot of backpackers have this habit just dropping our bags and then sitting and landing like relaxing just you gotta be a little more careful while dropping your bag to the ground here we go the top goes like this close now latch up pretty much everything bottom and top both there it is done it's pretty easy actually you can carry it like this or you can carry it on your shoulders if you still have clothes camera and small electronics to carry you can carry them in a small duffel bag as hand carry on luggage okay and that's how you pack your helmets inside your backpack for international motorcycle travel easy right just remember that at airport if the security troubles you then there is no such rule that keeps you from carrying your helmet now be confident about this rule but don't be arrogant all right so if this video has helped you let me know in the comments below and remember that if you can guess where I'm going next, you will get a souvenir. So write in comments below. Shit, is that a Harley or is that some shitty? Nacho! El Hilke Nacho Nacho! El Hilke Nacho! Easy, right? Oh, fuck, man. Uh, easy, right? But remember, in the security... Fuck, man. Easy, right? <laughs> there can be an easy ride compilation. And that's how you carry your motorcycle. Oh, fuck. I'm not getting in the frame.